In League One, Swindon's hopes of automatic promotion were hit by a 1-0 defeat at Leeds Doncaster. Alistair Durden reports. A small crowd for a game with big stakes. Perhaps they knew what was coming. A pitch short on grass, producing a first half equally bereft of chances. Swindon's Dean Parrott briefly raised the heart rate with this effort. As did this goal line scramble, Aidan Flint almost left with egg on his face. In the second half, it was Swindon's keeper increasingly under pressure. And they cracked with 10 minutes to go. Jamie McComb squeezing his header through the crowd and denting Swindon's chances of automatic promotion. We, we still think that we could win all five. Um, and if we win all five, then we'll have a chance. Um, it's going to be a big ask, but these are good players and they've been in the top six all season. So I've got my faith in them. So they need to sort of just remain focused and we'll see how things go. This wasn't a fatal blow, but the poor performance is a concern at such a critical stage of the season. Alistair Durden, BBC Points West. Our Tramier's promotion rivals got on on Saturday, starting with the leaders Doncaster, who took on fourth place Swindon in the day's early game at the Keep Moat. <laughs> Furman giving that away to Navarro. Can't find Rooney. Griffin, Flint standing strong, very strong, there's the challenge from Flint, now does Flint get something on the ball, yes he does and that gets him out of trouble. And a sloppy ball by Griffin, it's McCormack! It wasn't a bad try from the Swindon skipper. It wasn't too far away. Griffin. Cottrell. Will McCormack's lost out. Cottrell and off the line. Darren Ward with a goal line clearance for Swindon. And he goes down in the area and he gets his side a free kick, but he certainly saved a goal there, Ward. Here's the mistake by McCormack, trying to dribble his way out, lost out of Cottrell, but there is Ward. Nearly an own goal from Flint, but his centre-back partner saves his blushes. Closest we've been. Burn. Getting the better there of Spur. Decent try from Perrett. Really catches hold of this, Dean Perrett. And that's the closest Swindon have been. Looking at this playing surface today, I just wonder whether it might prove a hindrance for Doncaster's promotion hopes. It's been so much better away from home, but this isn't bad, and Bennett stings the hands of Fodderingham, but no more. Good height for the goalkeeper, it wasn't too far away. Carl Bennett denied by Fodderingham. Cottrell with a free kick. And the header brings an excellent save out of Fodderingham. Chris Brown denied. And that is a tremendous save from Wes Fodderingham to keep the scoreline blank. It's too far out, I think, for Cottrell. Will he have a go from here? It'll be ambitious. Oh, he hit it well! And Fodderingham at full stretch to keep it out. What a great free kick from David Cottrell, heading for the top corner, but for the hands of Fodderingham. Here's David Cottrell again. Spur. Corner. The side looked like winning it. It's the team in red and white. Another David Cottrell corner kick. As we head towards the final ten minutes. Goalkeeper not getting there. A goal for McComb. Jamie McComb gives the league leaders a lead. It's been a scrappy game on an awful.
football pitch. And no surprise that a set piece finds the breakthrough. And what a time for Jamie McComb to get his first goal of the season in this hugely important promotion game at the top of League One. Didn't really get out of the traps all day. Um, we had a couple of half chances, shots from distance in the first half, but um, that wasn't good enough for the standards they've set themselves. Would you say you've got a good chance of going up now? We have got a good chance. We've also beaten one of our nearest rivals today, which is it's a key point, key factor. You know, we lost to Coventry on Friday, and in some ways it, it does obviously matter, but it, it wasn't against somebody who's close to us. But so. We've done it. It's a double effect today. We've gone three more points in front of one of our closest rivals. That's for the game of the day. Well, we saw leaders Doncaster uh, beat fourth place Swindon. Uh, the state of the pitch, we've, I think we've talked about already this yeah. season. I mean, therefore, not that surprising that the winning goal came from a set piece. No, I mean, it, I mean the pitch is grey, isn't it? I mean, it, it, it's hard, it's bumpy. Uh, we saw the teams, you know, early on in the game try and get the ball down, but it was just almost impossible. And uh, you know, they're a big, strong side, and you can understand why they want to get the ball forward. They, you know, a long throw, they put the ball. I think uh, the boy Cottrell's got 17 or 18 assists. Yeah. That was his 19th, I think, before this game. And you can understand why, because you, know, you cannot get the ball down and play. It's horses for courses, yeah. they're winning games of football. You know, all they've got to do is keep doing what they're doing, and they'll be out of the league. So what about the battle to go up into the championship? Well, the goals and the wins have dried up a bit for Swindon. When Paolo Di Canio left six weeks ago, they looked like one of the favourites. Now the playoffs look a more realistic bet. Easter didn't start too well for these two. It will end in the perfect manner for whoever walks out of here with the bounty today. This is Cotterell. Cotterell's delivery, and Fotheringham is not to be caught out at his near post. It certainly meant there's a cross from David Cotterell, but one or two really good touches to get away from Nathan Burney. It just gets it out of his feet. Absolutely does the right thing. He's been doing this all season, trying to provide for his strikers. Andy Griffin, Dave Thurman in a pocket of space here, and Thurman barged over by Flint. Referee has a look and then shakes his head. Well, it was certainly a coming together, and certainly Dean Thurman's took a knock, but this is what we're going to have to see from Doncaster. Midfield is breaking into the penalty area. Well, there is a body check, there's a major collision there, and actually you've seen penalties given for less than that. McCormack has lost out, there's Cotterill. Swindon in trouble here, and the ball is scrambled off the line by Ward. And Ward is pulled to the ground, it will be a free kick to Swindon Town, who are holding onto the ropes there. So Darren Ward, who managed to combine just to clear the danger, Fred very nearly turns that into his own goal, but a really big opportunity there that Doncaster have passed up. Central defensive partner got him off the hook there. As you can see him there being pegged back here, it's Bennett, and it stings the palms of Fodderingham. Nice football from Doncaster Rovers, they opened up Swindon there. Kyle Bennett, who did the right thing, his knee over the ball, kept it down, kept it on target. You can see that ball is bobbling towards him. It's not an easy one to judge about when to strike it. Takes it with the outside of his foot, looking to whip it past. Ian Hume has scored some big goals this season. He's on the pitch now, looking for more. Cotterell's free kick, it's a fabulous header and a terrific stop from Fodderingham. Who managed to keep out Chris Brown. It's a great header from Brown, he does the right thing, he goes back across goal. But Fodderingham's positioning is excellent, good instinctive reaction save and very, very important save in the context of this game and, of course, in the promotion race. Cotterill upended by Byrne and the free kick has been given. Cotterill is standing over this, and Cotterill goes for it, and it had to be dealt with by Fodderingham. I tell you, this ball moves horribly in the air for a goalkeeper. It's really difficult to judge where it's going to end up. And when he first struck, it seems to be going way over the crossbar, but look at the dip on the ball. Once again, Fodderingham moves his feet well. Having played the uh, same amount of games. Doncaster are looking to improve their home form here, and they're asking the questions again. They were 
want it done and dusted before they face Brentford. Where's fodering him in a scrap? McCoom gets to it and scores! That moment there could be massive for Doncaster Rovers! Where's Fodringham just gets pinned on his goal line, he can't get off his line. It's actually Coppinger who just stops him getting away and getting off his line and dealing with the ball in. And once it drifts over the keeper's head, then McCoom is an absolute giant. He rises highest at the back, just does the right thing, knots it down. And once you knot it down, it's so hard for defenders to keep it out. And this is an absolutely massive goal in terms of the complexion of the, uh, the promotion race at the top of League One. Doncaster do deserve to be ahead, though. Final few seconds, Swindon needs something now. Not quite sure that was what that was from Cotterill, but let's put the ball out to play. Brought his team a bit of time. Doncaster Rovers take a giant leap towards the championship. Doncaster were the better team, they were the more potent team. Swindon Town offered very little here this afternoon. And it's Doncaster Rovers who march on. Swindon Town once again are looking over their shoulders.